Biomedia plays a massive role in the safety of your fish and their home. It is a crucial part of the filtration process to ensure your fish stay healthy. There are many types of biomedia on the market, and it can get confusing and overwhelming to figure out what the best biomedia is for your biological filtration. We will walk you through how we selected the biomedia that we not only sell at customaquariums.com, but using our sister company Serendi Aquarium and Aviary Services, which services hundreds of aquarium accounts around the United States. There are several key attributes to consider when selecting which biomedia to use. Some desirable attributes of our seamless sump biomedia are High surface area Collects less detritus than complex shapes that can fester and poison the water Will not break down like some other media on the market Allows plenty of flow rate for an efficient reaction Cost effective It does not alter your water chemistry And is easy to clean and recharge High surface area so what Biomedia does for the biological filtration process is it increases the surface area for the good nitrifying bacteria to grow that will neutralize the bad bacteria the fish expel after eating. And the more surface area available, the more good bacteria will grow in the aquarium. As a rule, the smaller the bioball, the more surface area you will get. However, once you go too small, the bioballs become so dense that they inhibit water flow. You want the water to flow efficiently through the stack and accommodate your desired flow rate of the tank without slowing down the water too much. We tested many forms and found the right size that maximizes surface area, yet allows water to flow smoothly and efficiently through the stack. Most effective shape and material. We use a round, medium-sized ceramic bioball for our biomedia. If you get a biomaterial with a complicated shape, it has a higher chance of trapping detritus and other organic matter, which can fester and poison your water. The round shape of our biomedia is the best way to create the least number of voids for material to get trapped. We also found the round shape best in having efficient interaction with your water and, at the same time, not trapping organic matter. Our ceramic bioballs will not break down, are inert, and will not change the pH level of your water. Some manufacturers use materials such as clay for the biomedia material. This material will change your water's mineral content and pH. We view this as a significant problem, thus, ceramic is the preferred choice. We also go with a smooth biomedia to prevent organic matter from being trapped in your bio stack. One very important advantage to our white biomedia is that when you service your aquarium, you can gauge how much life is left in the material. When you put new seamless sump biomedia in, it will be white, and as it processes more and more water, you'll see it turn a shade of yellow. This also makes it easy to determine which biomedia stack is the oldest and which is the newest when you go to replace or recharge part of your media stack. Towards the end of the video, we will demonstrate our recommended method for replacing the biomedia in a seamless sump. You can recharge the biomedia by simply boiling it in water. However, in our service business, we discard one basket of biomedia every six weeks and fill it with new. When you look at the investment into your complete aquarium setup and the health and well-being of your established tank, it's usually worth it for peace of mind of always having a fresh biomedia bacteria culture. However, if budget is more of a concern, it is an easy option to recharge the biomedia up to a few times before discarding it. Budget friendly. To top it all off, our bulk size of biomedia is the best value out there. One order of biomedia from us contains five liters of product, which could last almost a year at a time. This is why we can provide superior quality biomedia for less than just about every other solution on the market today. We recommend ordering it with your aquarium, so shipping is free. Our biomedia can be costly to ship alone due to its weight. Since shipping is free on most of our aquariums, the cost to ship biomedia alone with your aquarium would be no extra. You can also use our biomedia with any canister or sump filtration system, however we recommend looking at our patent seamless sump products, which you can learn more about on the seamless sump overview page on our website. We have vast experience servicing hundreds of accounts all over the country. Our system of small ceramic bioballs with our convenient, easy to clean, easy to replace, organized culture in a properly designed media stack has proven to have the best results by far of any system we've ever tried. Any questions? Feel free to reach out to us anytime. We are happy to help. And now we will show you how to change the media baskets in the baffle tub of your seamless sump. This video will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of how to properly maintain your seamless sump filtration system. Make sure you have all the tools you need, such as a siphon hose, a bucket filled with your aquarium water, an empty bucket, new biomedia, a new filter sock, a new bag of purigen, and towels to keep the floor dry. To start, make sure to unplug everything from your power strip and remove all of the sump lids. We'll be starting with the sock tub first. You'll remove the used filter sock from the sock tub and place it in your empty bucket or container. Next, remove the top biomedia basket from the baffle tub 
discard the purigen that is in that basket, and set the basket down. After this step is done, continue to remove the remaining bio-media baskets, stacking them from top to bottom. The bottom one will now end up on the top. Dump the biomedia out of the top basket into the container that your used filter sock is in, and then rinse off the basket in the bucket of aquarium water. This is important because chlorinated water kills any beneficial bacteria on the baskets. Place the basket to the side and grab your new bucket of seamless sump biomedia. Fill the empty basket about two-thirds of the way with the new media and place it back on top of the stack. Next, grab your siphon hose and start to siphon water out of your sock tub. You will be able to see the dirty water flowing through the hose. Once the water in the sock tub is thoroughly siphoned out, take a new filter sock and fold it, allowing easy placement back into the sock tub. Now you will want to siphon out your baffle tub and reservoir tub or tubs to remove dirty water from each. Once the process is complete, return to your biomedia stack and place the top basket that's filled with brand new biomedia back into the baffle tub. Then, continue using the aquarium water to rinse the remaining baskets. This cleans the biomedia while allowing some beneficial bacteria to stick around. When you are done rinsing each basket, place them back in the baffle tub, going from top to bottom so that the oldest biomedia basket will end up on the top of the stack. Don't forget to add your bag of new purigen to the final basket. Once the bio stack is back in the baffle tub and the tubs are full again, stop the flow of water from the hose, but leave it in the sump. Turn the power to the equipment back on, then wait 5 minutes for the aquarium and seamless sump system to balance. Once you are sure that the filtration is functioning normally, replace the glass lids on each sump and you are finished. Have any questions? If so, feel free to reach out. We are happy to help. Thank you.